Hey guys, Kellen and Tim here uh, at I.O. still, and we've got the L preview or Android L preview, developer preview installed on a Nexus 5. And so we wanted to take you guys on a quick tour. Obviously, we're still learning since it's so fresh, but uh, definitely some things you'll notice right away. So we want to take you on a yeah a little tour. So we probably start with the lock screen because it's changed quite a bit. So uh, basically, they're putting all your notifications right here on the lock screen. So you no longer have to pull down notification shade. They're just right there. And you can actually swipe these away. Um, you can expand them right in here. Um, you can sort of swipe up just to unlock if you don't want to see them. Uh, they've also though added a shortcut to the phone. So you can swipe to the right to get right into the dialer. And then uh, obviously there is a camera shortcut down there as well. So you should be able to swipe over to get to the camera. Um, and that's sort of it for lock screen. Like I said, you can actually swipe stuff away. Um, you can still get into your quick toggles and stuff or Wi-Fi and things like that if you want. There's a brightness slider up here as well. Um, otherwise, yeah, just swipe, unlock. So on the main screen, we're not really seeing anything all that new. Uh, it looks like the Google Now launcher, so you can swipe over and get into Google Now. Um, long press will do you know, wallpapers and widgets and this has been reskinned a little bit at least these icons down here but if you go into like widgets it still looks like KitKat to us uh, wallpapers same sort of KitKat style and the only new wallpaper is the one you guys saw yesterday um, so if we go to the app drawer same thing not really anything new in there you do notice the new settings icon otherwise most of the apps in here are basically the same um, you can also swipe up to get into Google Now still. That hasn't really changed. Um, but if we go into that dialer, which we showed you briefly, this has definitely been redone. So you can sort of pan through all of these pages. And you can see there's like this little icon down here to get to the dialer that moves around with you, which is kind of cool. And obviously tap into that. It gives you a nice little animation and it brings up this new dialer. So dialer's pretty cool. Obviously you can do the uh, search up there which lets you search for places uh, close by or whatever and you can also search through your contacts. Uh, let's see, so Hangouts is still the same, like Chrome, these are, none of these apps are really different, like Google Play for example, it's not different, these are all going to be separate updates. Um, but if we go into like the notification pull down, you'll notice you can pull this down just to see notifications and then you can either pull down again to get to your quick toggle so you no longer have that sort of two finger swipe down or you can pull down and just tap up top and it will drop your settings down so then you can you know toggle all of that stuff off you'll see there's a cast screen button down here so there is cast support now you can mirror your device to a chromecast uh, dedicated brightness slider up here which is kind of cool uh, otherwise that stuff hasn't really changed um, to get to well you do have a battery status up there but you can get into settings by hitting that little button so settings has been completely reskinned. it looks like there's also a search functionality up there we'll come back to that keyboard in a second uh, but you can see reskinned. Uh, we're not going to jump into all of these things but you can see the the new uh, theme is sort of there throughout um, here's just some display settings that keyboard just keeps coming back. Oh, and while we're here, so here is the uh, the multitasking button. So it's this new sort of card style, and you can still swipe things away to get into them, um, or you can you know tap on things to get back into whatever. So if we go back into the settings just to finish that up, uh, tap and pay in there. There's battery, you know, all this stuff. It it hasn't necessarily changed all that much. It just looks a little bit different. Um, your accounts. Uh, we could go down into here to about phone and show you that there isn't really an easter egg but this is what the easter egg is and if you long press for a while or maybe just tap for a while it basically gets you into the mosaic tile so not really anything going on in there um i did want to show you though if you use the volume so you do have sort of a new volume option here where you can set it do not disturb uh, so you can set it for an hour or you must be able to extend that out yes or you can extend the time there or you can say until you turn it off um, there's also more settings in here um, one of them being automatic so you can have it automatically turn on at night which is kind of cool um, and you can find that just normally in the uh, in the settings menu so uh, storage hasn't really changed much these things have just all been reskinned already looked at that uh, this is where your do not disturb is though we did want to point out though if we go just back into Wi-Fi all these little uh, switches have been changed so they kind of have a little cool animation every time you tap on them um, and then if we do search let's 
go back in. So new keyboard skin at least. Um, we thought we saw a white version somewhere, but this is the default skin. So you can just see if I'm typing. You can still flow around. Just a new sort of color scheme in general. Um, yeah, so that's mostly what we're seeing so far. Uh, again, none of the apps have really been reskinned or anything, so we're just waiting for updates from Google on those. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're gonna play with it some more and see what other goodies we can find. And uh, yeah, if you guys have questions, let us know. We're Droid Life. Peace.